Good evening and welcome to the Hometown News TV. I'm Laura Young. And I'm John Young. We'd like to ask you to please like our video that we've been doing each week. Each week we're bringing you this news broadcast from our local area and it would really help us a lot if you would click like below the video and then if you would share it to your Facebook page so that others in our area will be able to check out the weekly news that's happening around the Gray Eagle, Swanville, Upsala, Melrose, Albany, Long Prairie, around our area. And in this week's Hometown News, we have Harvey McKay, Curiosity Can Set Life on Path of Discovery. When you evoke curiosity, positive things can happen. Tom Keene, his good old days, he really hits home this week with an article on special trees. Dave says, gives advice on saving cash for a new home, and he also touches on life insurance. And John's article with the Small Town DIY is, Will They Get What They Want? offering services and products for today's customers. And now for this week's upcoming events, the Empty Stocking Program is putting together a list of families with children ages 15 and under in the Gray Eagle Bertram area that need help with gifts this holiday season. Once the list is together, the trees will go up in some of the local businesses, both in Gray Eagle and Bertram, along with some of the churches for people to take takes from and to purchase the needed items. This is a great way to get your kids involved to help others in need. Ah Shucks is having a holiday sale November 30th through December 3rd from 9 until 6. New Munich JCs is sponsoring a Winter Wonderland Shopping Expo on Saturday, December 2nd from 10 to 3 at Elmer Z's in Sock Center. The Village View is holding their annual Christmas party on Saturday, December 2nd from 12 to 4. The Uppsala City is holding a holiday lights contest, so if you are in Uppsala, get creative and you can have a chance to win in some Uppsala bucks. This week's obituaries include Linus Herman Thell, who passed away November 14th. Services were held Tuesday, November 21st at St. Gabriel the Archangel in Hopkins. Clara M. Benkowski, age 100 of Avon, formerly of St. Cloud, passed away Saturday, November 18th. Services will be held at 11 o'clock on Saturday, November 25th at St. Anthony's Catholic Church. Peter N. Waldorf, age 49, of Corcoran, passed away Wednesday, November 15th. Services were held Tuesday, November 21st at St. Michael's Catholic Church in Spring Hill. Mandy Hemsel died Sunday, November 19th. Services will be 11 o'clock Friday, November 24th at St. Benedict's Catholic Church in Avon. Rosalie E. Rose Bearshite, aged 93 of Sox Center, died Friday, November 17th. Services were held Tuesday, November 21st at St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Gray Eagle. Elmer J. Sinderman, age 84 of Melrose, died Saturday, November 18th. Services were held today, Wednesday, November 22nd at St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Gray Eagle. Brennan J. Hoppy, age 18, of New Munich, died Monday, November 20th. Services will be held at 10.30 a.m. Monday, November 27th at Immaculate Conception Catholic Church in New Munich. And check out the full obituaries in this week's Hometown News. And now for this week's birth announcements, we have Adele Genevieve Steinhofer, who was born to Luke and Alicia Steinhofer of Melrose. Avery Elizabeth Schwieders was born to Dan and Kathy Schwieders of New Munich. This week's Hometown News, our front page photo is from Lori Call. It is some swans that are on the lake as it's starting to freeze over. Our Minnesota Through the Lens, Amy Reland submitted a photo with a fishing boat up on shore. Here we have pictured a few of the Gray Eagle Swanville Knights of Columbus members that helped with the road ditch cleanup. The USA Community Chorus honored the World War II veterans at the Veterans Day program in Swanville. The Uppsala Drama Club will be presenting the Charles Dickens classic, A Christmas Carol, which will be coming up next weekend, December 1st through the 3rd. There will be three performances, Friday and Saturday, December 1st and 2nd. It will be at 7.30 p.m. and a 3 o'clock in the afternoon matinee on Sunday, December 3rd, all at the Uppsala Auditorium. What a great play just before Christmas. And you'll also find the Melrose City Minutes in this week's Hometown News. Today, while on route delivering the papers, which we delivered a day early, which always messes people up as you're walking into the store, they're like, is it Thursday? 
So we got to hear that quite a bit today. But I, I was noticing the lakes have really gotten a lot of ice is forming out there. Some lakes are completely frozen over. Uh, we've got some pictures here of some of the some of the area lakes. We've got Big Birch that has a little bit of open, but a lot of it is frozen over. Uh, Long Lake up by the Hub has a lot open actually, which is kind of surprising. Um, some of the different lakes, uh, it looks like Lake Charlotte was pretty much frozen over. Um, Moose Lake is pretty much all frozen over. But we get back to the the whole thing with safety. The kids are going to see this beautiful smooth clear ice and they're like oh boy let's go and it's just not going to be safe for a little while I actually saw up on Long Lake you can see where someone went out there with a chisel and they went out about 25 30 feet and where and then they broke through and it looked like where they broke through it was probably about an inch and a half thick and yet I'm, I'm guessing they were using a the chisel and they, once they popped through they're like uh oh did it did it right back <laughs> as up. it cracks and oh yeah yeah, Actually, so. there was a little fish house that was out at, on Trace Lake last weekend. Trace Lake, which is interesting because our, our cover photo was showing swans. So the fish house was out like last weekend. And then I went past, uh, maybe uh, must have been Monday, and there were people taking pictures of swans in open water just a little bit past where that fish house was. So the ice at this time of the year with the warmer temperatures, which we're going to have some warmer temperatures this weekend, it just isn't safe. We just need a few nights of that kind of near zero or sub-zero temperatures to really get that ice, at least in some spots where the kids can go out and play. But I, right now, I wouldn't trust it. And when the kids come around with the, with the family this weekend, there's just not a really safe spot for them to play on the ice and go skating, unfortunately. Work crews have been busy in Melrose this past week. They removed the wall that was kind of protecting that basement area from the burned out building that burned in downtown Melrose last year. And they've been replacing the kind of block and such. They took all that out and now they're putting fill in and they're going to get that lot ready for its next use. I wasn't able to find out today exactly what they're going to be doing with that, but it's looking a lot better than the old blocks and things from the old basement. Well, that'll pretty much wrap up our show for tonight. We just want to take a moment to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving, and hopefully you'll enjoy some time with family this weekend. It's going to be a nice weekend for that, and it's just one of those moments that you need to treasure because, as you, a lot of you know, the kids don't stay little very long, and before you know it, they're gone, and it's moments like this where they all come together and make that kind of a family moment. Once again, I'm John Young with the Hometown News TV. And I'm Lori Young. Thanks for watching. Good night.